Hey, it's Matt Haycox here, and we're here for another book review. And today, we've got Narconomics, How to Run a Drug Cartel by Tom Wainwright. Now, this actually really is a very interesting book. Yes, it is about the drug trade, but what it shows us is that you know, there's business lessons out there in all kinds of circumstances, maybe when you don't even expect it. This book, for me, is interesting from two angles. Whether you're interested to learn about business, but you'd like a quirky framing on it, for example. Maybe you're someone that normally finds business books intimidating or a bit boring. The title of this you know, and the whole theming of it is very quirky, and it might make you want to read something that normally you wouldn't. The second angle to the book is also that if you are interested in the drug trade and how to potentially combat it it gives a lot of business related arguments rather than you know rather than just a black and white answer of policing now when you say well what has a drug trade possibly got to do with business what people may fail to understand but certainly will do by the time you finish the book is that running a drug cartel is just like running any other business insofar as you know there's there's r d there's hr there's there's economics there's pr there's marketing you've got your staff who are your drug runners and everyone else there on the kind of drug food chain again won't spoil the book a couple of interesting things it talks about for example is how do you retain staff when rival gangs are looking to bump them off or police are looking to arrest them. I guess that's a topic that can be applied to anyone's business in terms of how do you keep your staff loyal and motivated when your competitors are looking to nick them or maybe when they're getting old and retired. Another thing it talks about is how as a business cartels have problems when certain drugs become legalized. So for example, marijuana right now in the USA and what these cartels have got is a smuggling system that works very well for them, but they've now got no product to smuggle. A non-drug business example of this would be if you've got a, a fantastic distribution network Work, but all you know for whatever reason you know your product is is out of fashion or outdated and you've no longer got anything to push down the distribution network how can you try and protect your business and, and make use of the assets that you've got when you look at the title you might not think it's a business book but it has got some it's a very interesting read anyway and it's got some fantastic lessons in there that can genuinely be applied to all kinds of businesses big and small so hope you enjoy it and um, I'll speak to you again soon